Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial number 116. Now we've already been working on our chest where we can open it and close it and whatnot, but now we want it to actually start creating our looting system so that we can actually get items out of the chest or whatever it is that we're opening up that has items in it and start adding them to our inventory. So let me go ahead and open up Unity. And I've got a quick prototype made up and I'll just quickly show you the functionality that I've been thinking of. So here we are, you know, when I open up a loot chest, I get this here, which is basically, I have it generating 24 empty items, just blank items. And as you can see, you can scroll across and you don't have to take this layout where you have like this great big horizontal bar. Uh, you could easily make it uh, a box where there's maybe only three across and it just scrolls down. And of course, you know, if you change your aspect ratio, the size of the, bo the box changes. But as you start, you know, say you hover over an item, you get the tooltip for it, which I haven't enabled yet. But when you start clicking items, you'll notice that it removes it from the chest. And when it removes it from the chest, what we'll want to do is actually check to make sure that we have room in our inventory. And we'll add it to the inventory if we do, and then remove it from the chest. And if we don't, uh, throw up some sort of error message and, you know, tell the user, hey, you don't have room in your chest, and of course, uh, not remove it. So let's go ahead and create this uh, little box here. So I have that attached to my GUI. This is where I stick all of my GUI elements on the screen. Right now, they're all deactivated. But I'm just going to go ahead and remove the script. And we'll start one from scratch. So I'm going to go into scripts and I've already created a folder I think for GUI elements. Uh, let's, well we'll put it under HUD classes. So I'll create a new C sharp script and I'm just going to call this uh, my HUD or my GUI actually. And I'm going to use this script to basically control all the GUI that we'll have while playing the game. So my character panel eventually is going to be added to this, my inventory panel, and everything else. I've decided to go with on GUI because a lot of people seem to find it easier to use than using textures. But let's just go ahead and open it up. We'll make sure the name is changed. And well, let's just start off with the on GUI function. So make sure you have uh, capital O, small n, capital G, capital U, capital I. I get a lot of email about people saying their GUI doesn't work and they usually spell that wrong. Now GUI window uh, has a few extra parameters that we haven't actually played with before. And one of the most important ones is you're going to want to define an ID for that window. And it has to be a unique ID according to, like, well, it has to be unique in comparison to any other window you have. So I'm going to make a constant for it. So I'll make a private. It's a type int. I forgot my constant. It's a type int. And I'm going to call it uh, loot window ID. And I'm going to give it a value of zero. And another thing we're going to need for it is a rec to actually hold this position on the screen. Uh, windows are unique in that you can actually drag them around on the screen. Now I want mine to be fixed, at least to start with. And, well, let's just create the rec for it. So I'm going to create a private rec, and I'm just going to call it loot rec. Now we should be a little more descriptive. Loot window rec. And I'm going to start that off with uh, some default values. So we'll say new rect and I'm just going to start off with all zeros. So we'll want one for the X, we'll want one for the Y, and for the width and the height. So let's come down and start creating our GUI window. So I'm going to use this loot window rec and it's going to accept the value that's returned from our GUI dot window. 
And then if you look here at the parameter list for the windows, uh, the first thing it wants is an ID. Well, we've already gone ahead and created that. And we called it loot window ID. Put the comma in, and it's going to want a rect of where we're going to put this window. And I've already gone ahead and created the loot window rec. But since I've assigned it all zero values, I'm actually going to hard cast uh, basically where I want the window on the screen. Because right now I don't want it to be able to move around. Uh, so we'll say first is the X spot. And I generally like to have a little bit of offset from the left and right of the screen. And I usually want the exact same offset for uh, vertical as I do horizontal. So I'm just going to come up and I'll create a private float. And I'm just going to call it offset. And I'm just going to make that equal to 10 to start with. Because that's I usually like it about 10 pixels off the sides. So I'm going to come back up here. And for my rect, I'm going to say new rect. Now this rect you can actually define somewhere else and just actually insert the loop window rect. And I probably will a little bit later on, but right now I just want to hard cast it in just to get it working. So float left basically means uh, how far from the left side you want. And I want mine to be offset, which is 10 pixels from the left. So float top is basically how far uh, from the top you want it to be. So I'm going to say screen dot height, which will give me the total height in pixels. And then I'm going to subtract uh, a value, which is offset plus uh, the total height I want this window to be. So again, I'm going to have to come up here and define how tall I want this window to be. Now, the reason why I'm making it a variable, variable is I'm sure your height will not be the same as mine. Uh, mostly it's going to depend on the, the graphics that you're going to be using. But for now, I'm going to make it a public float. And I'm going to say loot window height. And I'll make that equal to 90 pixels. And I'll add that down here. Loot window height. So the next thing it wants is a width, which is basically how wide this window is going to be. And I'm going to start off by saying screen dot width minus, and since I want to have 10% or 10 pixels on the left and 10 pixels on the right of it, that's as easy as saying offset times two. And now it wants to know how high this is supposed to be. And we've already defined a variable for that. So we're just going to call that variable. So there we go. We've got our rec done. So we hit comma. And the next thing it wants to know is a GUI.window function. Now this is special for the windows. And basically what it does is it tells this window what to display in this window. And I've actually gone ahead and I put it in update and I didn't mean to. I meant to put it in on GUI. So just move it down there. So let's go to find this function that we're going to be using to uh, tell this window what to place in it. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say public or it could be private. Oh, let's just make it private. Now this uh, function has to accept an int and the int is the ID of the window, uh, which is the loot window ID. Now we probably won't be using it, but we actually have to tell it that to accept it. So I'll just move this over. And I'm not going to do anything in it yet, but I'm going to come back up here. And now that we have the function made, I'll tell it what function to grab, which is loot window. I'm going to have to scroll over a bit. So if we hit comma, we'll see the next thing that it wants is the GUI content. Uh, before that, I'm actually going to assign this window a name. And this is where you can do it. So I'm just going to call it loot window. Now later on, we'll probably want to replace this with a variable too, because you might have uh, multiple things in your scene that you can loot 
uh, let's say you have four or five different chests in front of you and they're all named differently we can actually pass the name of the item that you're looting uh, to a variable that we'll store here so you know which one you're actually in so after we get done with the name of the window you can define an actual GUI style for now I'm just going to keep the basic window style so I'm going to end this and put my semicolon so let's save this off we'll head into unity and I'm going to take this script there's no error so I'm going to take it drag it onto uh, a game object and for me it's just the GUI one basically any game object that is not going to be destroyed is where you'll want to put it so we have it hooked up I'm just going to quickly save and we'll hit play so there we go that's your default loop window and of course as you change your resolution it should change as well okay good and it looks like we're already over our 10 minutes so uh, time flies by I'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye